This video illustrates Merlin's setup in a rebreathing or circle configuration. What we have here is a fairly typical circle system uh, which is fed by a single flow from the fresh gas outlet into the back of the circle from the 22mm FGF outlet. In this configuration there must be a reservoir bag on the inspiratory limb to take up incoming gases. Gas from the inspiratory port of the circle passes down to the gas in port of Merlin and gas from the gas out port of Merlin passes back up to the expiratory port of the circle. And then excess gas is voided through the spill valve out into the waste gas circuit. So this is the tubing setup for a typical circle configuration. Set the fresh gas flow rate on your rotameter or flow meter to at least metabolic requirement, typically higher, and the gas passes through the vaporizer in the normal way. We're now ready for ventilation. I will now demonstrate ventilating an animal with a 200 mil lung capacity. Set the tidal volume to 200, the inspiratory time to 1.2, expiratory time to 2.4, and the maximum working pressure limit to 25. Set the system to run. See the inspiratory pressure rise on the right hand side and the expiratory port pressure rise on the left hand side. On the screen are all the parameters of ventilation. The tidal volume is set to 200 mils and the minute volume is 3.2 litres because the respiratory rate is 16 breaths per minute. We can see that the IE ratio is set to 1 to 2 and watch the airway pressure as it rises up to 13 during each breath. And notice the chest movements of the patient as it's ventilated. In a circle configuration, the fresh gas flow only needs to meet the metabolic requirements of the animal. In practice, it tends to be set generally a bit higher than this. And in fact, the settings should be the same as you normally use for a circle system in a spontaneously breathing animal. Note the periodic filling of the reservoir bag during expiration. This is quite normal. Although covered in another video, I'll just briefly look at the effect of reducing the maximum working pressure limit setting. If the maximum working pressure limit is reduced using the knob, the pressure in the system will rise during ventilation and reach that pressure and then stop ventilation. And you'll notice that the alarm goes off and the patient does not inflate as much as previously. This is a safety feature of Merlin. This concludes the Merlin rebreathing setup video.